Warning. The B3F podcast may contain language or subject matter that may not be suitable for kids. You've been fucking warned. Check out some friends of the show. The Two Brothers Podcast. The Trevor Jackson Podcast. Dem Jackson Boys. The Dumbass Dudes Podcast. Pop Culture Warrior. Happened in the 90s Podcast. Follow at The Andy Harris on Twitter. Go to our website at b3fpodcast.com for merch. Click on Tell Us What You Really Think to leave a completely anonymous review of each of us. Oh, Jack is the sick fucker of the like that. Enjoy the show, you cunts. So I want to take a second to talk about that the, the first 25 minutes of the show uh, today or last night when I recorded it, for whatever reason, Mel on our streaming platform just didn't just didn't put the audio through. I don't know why. don't know what happened because I reset it and it, it worked fine it, without changing any of the technical stuff, but r- regardless. So um, I felt like it was a decent 25 minutes. Um, so I apologize. Uh, I guess I should have caught that. I'll try to pay attention to that a little more. But So I just wanted to tell you, when this episode starts, it's going to sound disjointed, like it's starting right in the middle, and that's because it is. Um, so, um, But um, I just wanted to kind of take a minute uh, ahead of, ahead of uh, the start of the episode to just kind of warn you that that's why it's going to sound that way. So... I uh, hope you enjoy, and I'll try to keep an eye on that next time. And and just, you know, got something you want me to talk about? Let me know. We're you know, trying to go through this uh, this new venture, this new format of the show, and it's it's a slow go, but you know, working on it and work the kinks out. So uh, appreciate you. And now uh, here's the show. Check check check. All right. It seems like maybe. The audio is fixed now. Don't know why it was going on. Let's uh, let's hope that took care of it. Um, let's hope that took care of it because if I just talked for twenty five minutes and nothing was there, then if I just talked for yeah. See, minutes, there it is. And nothing was there. Nice. Well, I just talked for twenty five minutes for any of you watching right now i just talked for 25 minutes with seem seems like zero audio uh coming through so that's nice Uh, i'm happy about that that means you're gonna lose 25 minutes for me talking about getting older and complaining about seeing world chase tag on tv and people protesting outside of a courthouse Oh, well, that being said, I was going to bring up phobias because I was listening to um, something earlier this week. Um, I don't remember what it was. Dr. Draft Dark, maybe. But um, they're talking about phobias. No, I know what it was. I was listening to uh, Anything Better with Bill Burr and Paul Verzi. And Paul Verzi brought up homophobia. And they and they just got to talking about fears and phobias or whatever. And um, I started thinking about phobias and how ridiculous some of it is that we even name it uh, anthrophobia, a fear of flowers. That seems ridiculous to me. So yes, I just said that someone's fear sounds ridiculous to me, but um, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, Arachibutrophobia, fear of peanut butter. Some phobias I understand. I understand uh, agoraphobia. I understand acrophobia. Makes sense. Uh, Acluophobia, fear of darkness. I understand that for kids. I don't understand as much for uh, adults, but uh, I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. Aerophobia, fear of flying. And yes, if you're picking up on this, I'm going through the A's right now. But um, uh, arachibut. 
to uh, arachnophobia, fear of peanut butter. Fuck off with that. You know, ar- arithmophobia, fear of numbers. Seriously. Um, what else do we have here? Oh God. Um, fear of failure. Who doesn't have attica atticophobia? However, it's pronounced. I'm not sh- sure. F- fear of failure. Who doesn't have a bit of a fear of failure? Um, autophobia, fear of being alone. That makes a little more sense to me. Um, barophobia, fear of gravity. How the fuck do you live your life if you have a fear of gravity? I, I for the life of me, I don't get it. I, what the fuck is going on? Fear of gravity? How do you live? <sighs> um, let's see here. Bibliophobia, fear of books. Uh, I feel like I had a fear of books when I was in school. <laughs> you can hear Olivia's dogs here for the weekend. Hear him barking upstairs. I'm sure you guys can probably hear that too. Um, botanophobia, fear of plants. And I'm just going to keep rolling through the alphabet here. Um, <laughs> uh, cacophobia, C A C O P H O B A, cacophobia, fear of ugliness. <laughs> I feel like that's uh, mainly men that deal with fear of ugliness. (laughs) I thought about, (laughs) never mind. I'm not going to say that. I mean, that's too far. I don't know. (laughs) Cacophobia, fear of ugliness. (laughs) That that mixed with the fear of gravity. How could you live a life? You just, I don't know. Walk off a cliff. Jesus. Um, Chronophobia, fear of time. (laughs) how do you deal with that how do you go to work and deal with um let's see where did it go i just had it uh chronophobia because you also you can also have chronometrophobia fear of clocks it's how do you use a computer how do you use your phone can you even can you take that setting off of your if you have an iphone can you take the setting off so it doesn't show the the clock on on the phone (laughs) oh jesus christ fear of clowns i don't understand as an adult having a fear of clowns but i wouldn't knock you for it because i guess there's stranger things um decidophobia fear of making decisions guess what that is decidophobia fear of making decisions what is fear i I love plants and fear of handsomeness trevor says fear of handsomeness (laughs) what is a fear of handsomeness Trevor, I don't know what that is. Hey, man, aren't you supposed to be doing something with your wife, by the way, in her birthday? I invited you on the show tonight because I had something I was going to talk to you about. And I figured we could, we could, uh, as the young kids say, chop it up. Um, so <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. What else do we have? Um, uh, domatophobia, fear of houses. Uh, Echophobia, fear of the home. Um, let's see here. Gamophobia, fear of marriage. I feel like there's a lot of men that that, that would say they suffer from uh, gamophobia, a fear of marriage. <laughs> Genophobia, fear of knees. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Um, gynophobia, fear of women. Now, you know, you have glossophobia, fear of speaking in public. That makes sense to me. But, uh, gynophobia, fear of women. That I don't, I don't understand that. Heliophobia. So you have heliophobia, fear of the sun. You have that mixed with fear of gravity, fear of time. And, uh, I fear what the other one was that I, uh, I don't remember what it was. Um, let's see here. Let's go back and find it. Uh, whatever. I'm not, I'm not traveling that far back for it, but you mix those up. I don't see how you can do anything. I don't see how you can do anything. If you have, if you have a uh, heliophobia, fear of the sun. I mean, do you go move somewhere where it's dark six months out of the year? I don't, I don't know. Um, Jesus. Uh, the fear of long words is hippopotamonstrosis sequit 
hippopotamus. Jesus Christ, let's try that again. Hippopoto monstrosis quipadaliophobia is the fear of long words. Now, I, someone's playing tricks on us. Like, like this is this is a joke. Somebody's playing on us, coming up with this. Hydrophobia, fear of water. Hypochondria. I work with someone who's who seems to be a bit of a hypochondriac because of you know fear of illness. Um. Uh, I I atrophobia, fear of doctors. Uh, so I, I I had someone tell me one time that that is a a thing that um. Um, a, a, a very, uh, I was just was going to say minute case or a very weak case or, a, but, um, that, um, a lot of, um, a lot of black people have this erratrophobia, which is the fear of doctors like the, and, and then I'm not saying that I'm not making a joke. Like I've had a black guy I worked with told me that one time that, that black people don't like going to the doctor. And I don't like going to the doctor because it feels like uh, I don't have the time for it. Um, sorry to hear that, Trevor. If you're left from a, a funeral, um, that's I'm mean, going to get it. People die, but that sucks. Um, but um, I, I, I mean, I have theories on why, why that is that there's a fear of doctors, but, um, but anyway, it's someone told me that one time um uh let's see here um koinonophobia fear of rooms um let me just i'm just gonna randomly grab one more thing here <laughs> scoptophobia fear of being stared at um i see another one fear of the moon i'm not gonna read what it is but so what's how do you how do you feel because uh, I, I, I feel like at some point in your life you should get to the point where you don't um where you're not not to say you're not scared of anything or you don't have any fears because i mean there are little things here and there um let's what, what does trevor say here black folks fear doctors because they don't think they will look out for their best interest I could see that, and that's part of some of my theories. Uh, that's part of some of my theory on it. I mean, when you mix that with um, some of the tests that had been run back in the day and, and things like that, I, it makes sense to me. Um, anyway. Trevor, do, um, are, are black folks scared of black doctors, or, or, or does that ease the tension Um mostly or a little bit anyway um anyway so what how do you what do you think about fe in, in general what what do y'all think about fears like because i have this thing where i feel like at some point you shouldn't really have a whole lot of fears you're an adult you understand how life works um you understand reality when it comes to things and you know if you have the whatever the fear is where you're afraid of rooms you understand a room in itself can't i, I don't know I, I get i guess that's why it's called an irrational fear i don't know i'm not a doctor obviously but i i struggle with i have a hard time not just going get the fuck over it now i'm not talking about stress and anxiety or 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 even throw depression there i'm not talking about that i'm talking about these things that are considered phobias fear of the sun fear of the moon um fear of houses I, I, I you got to get over that shit because there's reality and as long as you're a sane person you understand how things work now that's that's a thought that maybe i shouldn't have i don't know but it's still it's still the way i think about things um so yeah that's another i guess maybe crotchety old man thing if you're just joining me i spent tw about 20 to 25 minutes earlier talking about getting older and giving examples of of things that are bothering me as i get older unfortunately i don't think any of that audio came through so if you were watching during that time you probably just saw me sitting here talking like a fucking idiot um so um i, I, I don't 
I'll go back through some of it. I mean, uh, and I mentioned this last week that I uh, am helping to, or I'm remodeling part of our master bathroom for my, for my wife, for Mother's Day present, blah, blah, blah. I went through that last week. I'm not going to go through the whole spill on what it is, but uh, today was more demolition in there, getting everything down to the bare um, sheetrock and the subfloor and all that stuff. So a lot of ripping out two by four framing that's been put in and, 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 and cutting up the old jacuzzi tub that was in there so that I could get it out in pieces. And I'm just sore. I'm just sore from it. Um, and at 41 years old, I don't feel like I should be that sore from it, but I haven't necessarily taken care of my body uh, like I should have either. Um, you know, I, I was also talking about how I, uh, I've this, I've back pain all the time. I've mentioned it before, but, and it doesn't, sometimes it's worse than others, but it just, it doesn't go away. It's always there a little bit. And so I joined this thing that my company offers through our, our, our benefits package. And I think this is the first year they've offered it, but I basically go in and you pick, you know, you go through and you just kind of tell them where you're having pain, back, knees, neck, shoulders, whatever. And so I went with back, even though I have some knee stuff going on too, just another evidence of getting older. But, but, um, so I tell them I'm, I'm, I'm having lower back pain. And, um, as you go through and you answer a bunch of questions, it's this all automated at this point, you answer a bunch of questions about your back pain and, and things like that. And now they're going to send me a tablet with the app on it and a yoga mat. And they're devising a 10 to 15 minute per day sort of exercise plan. Um, not for weight loss, but to alleviate back pain. And I, as I filled all that out yesterday, I guess it was yesterday. As I filled all that stuff out to sign up for this program to try to alleviate some back pain, I thought to myself, you're a fucking old man now. Like the fact that you're having to do this, this shit, you are a fucking old man now. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't, uh, <laughs> I just, you know, I, and I thought that, having kids young, even though it wasn't really planned, but we, that's what we did. Like it'd be nice because I'd still be young enough and could enjoy going out with them. My daughter's birthday's coming up and, uh, it should be 21. And I know she has a fake ID and she's been to bars before, but you know, they've, they, she and the boys have mentioned us all going out for her first legal out it, outing to a bar. Um, we'll all go out together either next saturday night prior right at midnight or the day after when her actual birthday is on sunday night since monday's a holiday and i'm already thinking about how tired i'm going to be the next day if i drink liquor how i'm going to feel the next day that's another thing i mentioned i did a guest spot on, a, on another podcast last night that episode will come out in the fall with that podcast, I'll give you more details when it rolls around. Um, but I had one whiskey, just like just like this, and afterward, not buzz, not drunk. Um, uh, it's not getting older has not affected my tolerance yet, but I just already felt like I was going to be hung over today. Now, granted, I wasn't hung over today, but I felt like I was hung over last night, and and I just I don't know. That's to, to me, that's just another sign of getting older. I did, it didn't used to be this way. Or maybe I've reached my liquor limit in life, and I'm not. I can't drink any more liquor without, with without feeling that way. That's why you see me drink a little bit of water as I'm drinking this. I'm trying to drink more water anyway, but you know, I'm not losing weight as easy as I used to lose weight, which I can only chalk up to being older. You know, I'm 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 five pounds. Uh, I got five more pounds before I hit my goal vacation weight. So I got vacation in two weeks and I've got five more pounds to go before I hit my goal vacation weight, which is 190. Um, but my goal weight to hit, and if I can maintain that weight, I'll be happy is 180. 
Um, you know, I'm five ten, five eleven, somewhere around there, depending on how compressed my back is at the time. Um, one eighty is a pretty pretty good weight for me. As I lose weight, my back hurts less. It just never quits hurting. But but you know, um, I feel a little bit better about myself as I lose weight because I know. I mean, you look back through the episodes of this show. I've just been, there's been times where I'm just a fat fuck. Um, but and inside me is this 800 pound man inside me that I have to fight. And I realize if I don't fight now, I'll end up actually that 800 pound man being outside rather than just inside, because I have no willpower when it comes to sweets. We, I, we don't really keep sweets in the house because I don't have a, that willpower. But uh, the other day after work, I was just mentally and physically exhausted. And, you know, I said to my wife, <clears throat> it's a good thing that there's nothing, no sweets here. Because if you put something in front of me that was sweets, I, I would just eat all of the things. Like I would eat a, a cake. I would eat a, I would have eaten a whole cake and pie and cookies and everything because, because I was so tired and exhausted, I just didn't care. And so I don't know, as I continue to get older, that shit just, it builds up more. I mean, I, I see a guy who's, I don't know, he's 10 years younger than me, probably. Let's just say roughly he's 10 years younger than me at work. And he eats a honey bun probably twice a day, every day at work. And I, I don't understand how he stays the size he is. His, I mean, his metabolism has got to be just through the roof. Because I can look at a honey bun the wrong. I mean, I, that's obviously an exaggeration. I if I eat a honey bun, I'll be back up when I step on one honey bun. The next if I when I step on the scale the next morning, um, I'll be my weight will be up. It just affects me more. It just goes right to my ass. No, um, it doesn't. I wish it would though. I've been told I don't have a a big ass that I don't have a flat one. Like old men I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to do some squats. I have to get on the DB method and bust it out and I got to get that thing. But I'm just, I'm getting older and, um, let's see, what else did you miss? Oh, uh, I, a big thing about getting older. Um, you can hurt yourself. You can hurt your back or whatever, just getting out of a chair. Just, I mean, my shoulder hurts if I just decide to sleep on my right side. But not sleep crooked or crazy or with my arm twisted. Uh, no, I just in my sleep roll over my right side and wake up on my right side and my shoulder hurts. Like, because I had the audacity to sleep on my right side. You know, I could sneeze wrong and throw my back out for a week. Like, it's just, it's fucking, it's a, it's a cruel joke that God has played or the alien overlords um, that we talked about last week. Um, it's a cruel joke that's been played on us. When you get to the age where you can afford to go out and have a good time and spend some money and travel and things like that, you don't have the fucking energy or the, the bodily function to be able to do it. I found a fucking hemorrhoid this week that I didn't know I had. It's not bothering me. It doesn't itch. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't affect me in any way, except that while I washed my ass, I felt like I had a thumb out there, like my ass was hitchhiking. I don't fucking get it. It doesn't bother me. The only positive I can see is if it gets big enough, maybe I can massage my own prostate. That's the only thing I can figure from it. But no, just for no reason. I have no reason to have, to have a hemorrhoid, but Fuck it. I just have a hemorrhoid. Now, fuck you, Evan, dumbass dudes podcast. Fuck you with the gross shit, man. It's getting older. I'm getting older. It's just part of it. I hurt my back sneezing. I My shoulder hurts if I sleep on my right side. And I have hemorrhoids the size of an index finger just sticking out of my ass, pointing it at every every thing that I walk, you know. I go to sit on the toilet and my ass is already pointing at it, but, uh, I don't, I don't get it. It again, it doesn't hurt, but it's just one of those little things like in the shower. I'm just like, Oh, all right. So that's happening now. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I listened to, uh, your most recent show the other day, uh, Evan, um, uh, you guys really laid into Steven a little bit, didn't you? Um, 
called him called him a woman, an aunt Stephen, or something like that. So anyway, I need to I need to get you on here sometime, Evan. Just me, and and we'll see how it goes. Just the two of us. Um, you don't have to deal with, with Stephen and his racism. Um, so, assuming this is Evan, I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's getting older. Um, what else? Uh, while the audio wasn't working, tag my wife was scrolling through the channels tonight and she saw World um, Chase Tag on ESPN. Um, the international competition competition of playing tag yes tag you're it tag um one man stands on once or one person i didn't ask his gender so i don't want to assume but one person stands on one side of this platform and another person stands on the other there's an obstacle course in there you can move in and out of the obstacle course as you want to you just can't leave the platform and the buzzer goes off and one person is chasing the other for 20 seconds if you tag them they don't score a point if you don't tag them in 20 seconds you they score a point and that's that's how it goes and we dropped into it um in about round 14 or 15 or so of the championship game and they went about three or four rounds with no one scoring and then one guy um went uh, one guy just didn't get tagged And so they scored a point, and that was it. It was over. World Chase Tag was over um, with a one-to-nothing score. Soccer's not that fucking boring most of the time. Um, But Tag, why the fuck are we showing Tag? First off, why are grown men playing Tag? Anyway, I understand there there was a cool movie or funny movie or whatever that came out of, you know, five or six years ago about it that had jeremy renner and and uh a couple of people i can't remember who that was a it was a decent enough movie but why are grown men actually playing tag and why are people paying them to play tag because they looked like they had sponsors anyway um so yeah uh, that's a quick recap of what uh, i think the audio cut out earlier was uh getting older glad you listened and sure buddy we can get it worked out <laughs> that's a quite a delayed reaction there evan <laughs> i almost always listen to you guys man uh i try to listen to all the you know friends of the show especially people that have been on here multiple times um anyway <clears throat> so before i wrap this up uh, because I feel like I've wasted 25 minutes talking with no, with no audio. Unless there's, you know, any of you guys watching got something you want, beautiful man. Uh, unless uh, any of you guys got something you want to talk about um, or want me to talk about, want me to give an opinion on or answer a question for you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up cutting this out in a couple of minutes um, because I'm frustrated. Technical difficulties that I had no idea were going on early on the first 25 minutes i think we're just completely silent and so uh fuck this shit tonight i'm tired i'm sore i'm old i have vacation coming up um um wheel what's beautiful man um you need steven is that what it is i don't think i need steven i think i'm frustrated and old tonight because um uh, i I spent 25 minutes talking, talking, um, and no audio coming out. And now I'm just fucking frustrated. Um, (laughs) so anyway, um, yeah. Um, so tomorrow, if you're watching this live stream tomorrow, um, be doing something for the weekend with uh, big T Andre easy, uh, Roxanne, um, that'll be at 1 p.m. Eastern. It's on Facebook Live um, on the Soul TV page. Um, I'm, I think we're doing Would You Rather questions the whole show. Um, Lily said, I can't keep watching. Hello, we got third in soccer tournament. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, my, my brother. Oh, God. So, <clears throat> anyway. Um, 
so in uh, and, and Evan, just to go back to what what you said, like this is uh, I, I'm sticking with this. I understand it's probably painful to watch. It's probably more painful to listen to without seeing the visual, but uh, I'm sticking with it. I've, I've got to power through. This is something I've got to do. It's something I wanted to do for a while. The only thing that changes this is if so, for whatever reason, Steven decides he, he wants to come back and do this. Um, otherwise, like I said, I've put, uh, like I said, last week, I've put out a, an invitation to my wife who, who um, laughed at me for my entertainment news or what I didn't add to the entertainment news a couple of weeks ago. And so I put out the invitation. If she wants to come in here and do some entertainment news, then she's welcome to, and she may, but uh, um We'll see. I'll have to invite her again at some point and see what she wants to do. Um, outside of that, um, I got a couple of guests booked um, for a few weeks from now. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I've got another person that I'm going to try to have on next week because I'm doing a live stream on his show. It's Lutch who's been on here before. Um, he's doing a live stream on, I think, uh, the 30th or the, th uh, I can't remember what day. Give me a second and I'll, I need to promote it to you guys anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the, the 30th um, at 7 PM. He wants, I don't know why he wants me for it, but, um, but um, yeah, what do you, what do you got here, Evan? Yeah, for sure. It just needs a little time to figure it out. So yeah. Um, so Lutch, uh, who does the I Didn't Read Your Book podcast, um, uh, Stephen and I were guests on that um, a month or so ago, had a good time, but um, he's doing a live stream and he wants to go over the topic of um, police, like what are, the role police should play in society, which is a fucking huge topic and broad topic. I'm not sure I'm the person for it, but he asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. I never pass up the time, pass up the opportunity to talk. Uh, I like to talk, um, but um, so I'm going to be on that show and I'm pretty sure it's on the 30th and he's going to live stream it at like seven Eastern, I think. So, you know, while you're good and drunk for Memorial Day, if you want to tune into that, look for that. I'll, I'll send out some info at some point on it once I get more info. But <clears throat> um, like I said, I've got a couple other guests booked out um, to talk to. Um, and I'm working on a couple of more. So um, anyway, uh, that being said, um, I'm, I'm going to try to I'm going to try. Uh, I'm I've got vacation and it's the big family vacation that Stephen always, um, Stephen always didn't like, like didn't understand why I enjoyed it going on vacation with family. Um, but so I've got big family vacation, um, coming up at some point, uh, here in about two weeks or so. And so I'm going to try to have my kids on the night before, uh, vacation because I'm going to have to do on a Friday night that week. And then the next week, I don't know if I'll even do a live show, but so I'm going to try to get all the kids, all my three kids to come on and, and have a little chat. Cause we should all be here packing the car at that point anyway, but I have a little talk about, about, I don't know, vacation and, and then what it's have all three of them together and what it's like to have to deal with me growing up. But, um, anyway, um, outside of that, um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching and listening. I'm going to go and see if I can figure out the the audio issue that happened earlier. And um, other than that, um, I'll be back again next week. Um, yeah. Until next time. Goodbye. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook at B3F Podcast. Follow us on Twitter and Twitch at B3F Podcast. And on Instagram at B3F underscore podcast. YouTube has all of our videos. Support us on Patreon or buy me a coffee at B3F Podcast. Send all your questions or comments to admin at B3F Podcast.com. Find us online at B3F Podcast.com. Rate us and review us wherever you listen. And as always, 
thanks for listening.